deported people in the place to be. New York City is proudly present the new show that's coming on, Hip Hop New York, produced by my man Spank, Harry Safant, and Snow White. Are we gonna do something like this? One for the hides, two for tribulation. The beat is so fresh, let's give a demonstration. 98.7 KISS FM, in the midst of a three and a half hour commercial free music sweep. Red alert, it's on your turn. I just got myself some breakfast. We're heading all the way to Bronx. And the reason why we're going there is because of an exhibition at the Bronx Museum. The exhibition is um, dedicated to Henry Chalafant. He documented the graffiti in the 70s and the 80s. Some people call it the golden era of graffiti in New York. That exhibition speaks to me personally on many levels. Cheers to all of you who are watching. Stay tuned. You can join us too. We are commercial free. 98.7 KISS FM. Flex like coil, won't bust or wrinkle. I turn out the same. Don't try to resist or even play, cause I'll box you out till you begin to shake. My method for taking pictures of the trains is to stand on a platform with the sun coming over my back. And when the train on the opposite side comes into the station, I take pictures. We must pay homage to him. They have an entire timeline over here of the graffiti development and how it grew over the years, uh, starting all the way from 1973. Like a couple of years back, you look at graffiti and this whole hip hop culture stuff and people, you know, it wasn't organized the way it's organized now. Now you walk down the street and you see kids, you know, break dancing like they see it in the movies. You have graffiti in movies, you got break dancing in movies, you got posters on the trains about break dancers, you got, I mean, albums of rappers and, I mean, you know, like this whole hip hop culture, the subculture of the ghettos becomes something big. Henry is a top professional photographer that came into a scenario where predominantly all the physical evidence has been destroyed. He's basically a keeper of lost art treasures. Unfortunately, some of this art didn't even last for longer than 24 hours on the train cars because subway workers were asked to clean the subway cars and therefore erase all the graffiti that was on it. So in a way, a lot of these artworks never even lived for that long. But because of Henry and his photographs, we're able to see it in this day and era. Henry Chalfon's genius is in the fact that he was able to capture the golden era of graffiti at the right time, in the right place. That whole era birthed a series of um, artists, a series of art movements in a way that translate till this day to the modern day culture. Um, actually some of the contemporary artists like Cause are sponsoring this exhibition. And it's very understandable because for them that was their roots. That's where they started. Henry Chalfont, Supreme, Cause, thank you guys all very much. I appreciate you organizing this exhibition. This is very important culturally for all of us, and I think it needs to be spoken and documented more often. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, press the like button, and comment down below. I would highly appreciate it. Stay healthy, stay motivated, stay blessed. Peace. Be yourself, don't try to act fly. 
I might pass your by, cause I'm known to rock a party, never ended up.